Good afternoon and thank you to the, for attending the demonstration on how to make a waffle using the complete mix. Always open the bag with a pair of scissors. Prepare some water in a jug. You're going to make approximately twice the amount of batter as you have water, so make sure you don't overfill the jug. Add the batter slowly until you get a nice batter consistency. The dry batter will float to the top, so simply break those up. Make sure you don't put too much flour in, as it will thicken over time. So just give it a moment to do that. All you'll end up having to do is to add more water. You know when your uh, batter is the right consistency because it will just lay down when you pick it up. That means that it will drop on the top and, and disappear within a moment. Um, approximately, uh, well exactly, 450 grams of butter to one whole bag. That means one of these at four liters will do eight bags. But basically for this amount it's just a dollar. Uh, the butter will not only give the waffle flavor but it'll help release the waffle from the waffle uh, plate. Once you've made your batter up it will hold ambient for 10 hours. Uh, it can then be refrigerated for up to 72 hours. Cover it with cellophane so that it doesn't absorb any smells from the refrigerator and um, put the date and time in so that none of you, uh, your associates uh, know when the batter um, is ready to go off. Test the temperature of your uh, machine by dropping some water droplets on it and uh, you'll notice that they sizzle up. should be about 180 degrees. Always have a dry run that is without batter to make sure the machine will operate correctly. Filling the machine ensure that you don't overfill it. It will settle out. Close, not dropping the plate and noticing where the nipple is you can then turn it carefully but firmly and apply the timer all the way around. Your waffle will be ready in two and a half minutes.